In this video, we're going to show you how to install the ignition lock cylinder and keys on your Ford Mustang located inside the steering column. We're going to use a half inch socket. We're going to go ahead and loosen the nut on the terminal here. And go ahead and give this a little wiggle. Now we did spray this down with some penetrant here to go ahead and loosen things up. Wiggle that terminal off and just set that down aside. Now with the battery disconnected, we're gonna come on into the inside of the vehicle and here's your ignition lock cylinder here. Now there is three holes on the bottom side of the driver's side of the steering column here. What we wanna pay attention to is this small one right here. It's the second one back from the front. The reason why I wanna pay attention to that, we're gonna show you in just a moment. You're going to go ahead and take the ignition key Put that in and we're going to turn that to the on position now we're going to take a pin we have a um, a punch right here but you want to have something cylindrical with a flat end on it here and the reason why we got to do that is that hole we we're talking about we need to insert this into here and i'm going to show you here i'm going to undo this here and show you what we're going to be gaining access to inside the steering column. Now on the new switch here, there is a button right here. And inside the steering column, we're gonna be reaching up inside and we're gonna be pressing in on this pin and depressing that just like that. Uh, it's gonna unlock the lock cylinder or the ignition cylinder from the wheel column or the column itself. So let's go ahead, get our key back in there Turn that up. We're going to feed this up and in. And it's going to take a little bit to gain access to this. You're kind of working around to try and find that pin. And there we go. When you, when you hit it, you're going to feel the lock cylinder actually move a little bit. Push in on it and grab that whole cylinder and pull it out. And here we go. Slide that unit out just like that. You can see this is the pin we had just pressed in on. I want to take our new cylinder with the key in it. I want to make sure that that is lined up with that little button face in the bottom. Now in order to get that pop in, I turn the key back just a tiny bit. I want to continue to work this in. Push it in all the way until that ignition cylinder is locked into place. You're going to feel it seated all the way up against the steering column. Try and pull it out and it's locked in. Now at this point here, you can turn the key back and pull the key out. Now do not start the vehicle. We're just going to check and make sure that we have full rotation of everything. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and program our key set here. Grab that ground terminal. Hook that up. And you want to use your ratchet to go ahead and snug these down in a position. You want to go ahead and snug that down gently. Now you don't want to over tighten these here. You want to get that snug, grab that terminal, give that a wiggle. Make sure that doesn't spin on there. Now with the battery reconnected here and the door open, we're going to have the door chime going, so we're just going to try and talk over this here. We're going to go ahead and take our programmer here. Up on the driver's side, we have the OBD2 port right here. Go ahead and plug this in, and we should see this single beep. Now at this point, we're going to hop into the vehicle, and we're going to close the door. Now we had that single beep there once we plug that into the port. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and insert the non-transponder key. So this is our non-transponder key here. We have the two transponder keys here. We're going to insert that into the ignition. And simultaneously holding the original key up against the lock. So we have the original transponder key here up against the lock area. And turn the key to the on position without starting the vehicle. We're gonna wait for the programmer to beep once we do this.
Okay, so we just heard that single beep underneath. Now I want to go ahead and reinsert the first transponder key. So I'm going to bring this back. Insert our first transponder key. I'm going to turn it to the on position without starting the vehicle and we're going to wait for it to beep. There's the beep right there. We get two beeps out of it. Now the programmer will begin a 10 minute security access wait. At this point here, the LED light on the program will flash quickly during this time. Now we're going to continue to watch this flashing here. And once this is done with the security access, it's going to beep twice. That's letting us know that the security access is attained. And then at that point there, the light will start to flash slowly. So let's go ahead and continue to watch this here. Now, once we get that flashing to the slow speed on the programmer itself, you want to go ahead and immediately cycle the key off, then back to the on position without starting the vehicle, and then back to off. Then we're going to remove the key. We're going to wait 90 seconds at that point there, and the programmer will beep twice, letting you know that you're completely programmed. Now, at this point here, we have the slow flash, and we had the beep come on. We're going to turn the ignition back, turn it forward, turn it back, and then it remove the key. We're going to wait 90 seconds and wait for another beep. It should be beeping twice at that point. There's the two beeps and we are programmed. So we'll go ahead and reach down, remove our controller here. And that point there, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.